In this section, we're going to talk about image recording and storage. Brian, we're talking about 10 frames a second with 10 megapixels. That's a serious volume of data. How do we actually deal with the storage of that? So the camera has two memory card slots, a compact flash card and an SD card slot. So can I finally put two different formats on, on separate cards? Yes, with this camera you can now put your RAW files, say, on your compact flash card and choose to have a small or a different size JPEG file on the SD card. So if I'm covering football, for instance, I can transmit just the, uh, just the small JPEGs, but the RAW files can be kept for sort of subsequent use. Yes, you've actually been able to do that for, with previous products, but with this one uniquely you can actually put the different files on different storage media. So that gives you the ability to have, let's say, a, a redundancy in that you've got your RAW files on one card and your JPEGs on a different card. So you have two physical medias. If one breaks, you've still got some files. Um, you can also actually put it in parallel, so you almost use it like a redundant storage, so you can write the same files to one card and to the second card whilst you're shooting. Once upon a time I had a little accident and opened my card slot whilst uh, there was some data being written and I lost the lot. Is there any way of uh, getting around that now? So the new camera has actually implemented a new way of dealing with the fact when you open the card door in that it doesn't automatically shut down and just dump the buffer. What this one does, it gives you a warning beep and gives you a graphic and an icon on the back on the LCD to indicate how many images are left to write to the card. So it will actually keep on writing and it also prompts you to shut the door again. So how do we expand our storage options? So when you use the camera with the wireless transmitter, it provides a USB port which allows us to connect high-speed USB 2 hard drives. In this case, we're using the media storage viewer from Canon, the M80. This gives us an 80 gigabyte storage media connected to the camera. So we can now shoot directly to an external hard drive. And you can use that in combination with the cards in the camera. So for example, you could put JPEGs on your CF card, raw files on your uh, external hard drive to maximize the capacity. So I could be doing a fashion shoot, for instance, and just literally have the storage device, the hard drive, a normal USB hard drive in my pocket. That's basically the way, the way it works. And even more so, you have the ability to make backups from the camera. So even if you shoot with the camera and you shoot to memory cards, you can perhaps replace your carrying a laptop round with you by carrying a, a USB hard drive and you can do a complete copy from the CF card or the SD card directly to the external drive. I see you've gone to USB 2. Doesn't that mean more problems? I mean, mini plugs, photographers, studios, clients, it's just a nightmare. In actual fact, what we've done with this is to improve the um, connection with the USB 2 by including in the box actually a connection securing device that actually fits into the hardware chassis of the body and secures the cable into the camera. I wonder what that was. How does it work? Okay, so it simply puts the, we put, fit the USB cable as before into the camera and then you put the plastic cover over the USB cable ah. and screw the knurled that goes on there straight into the hole on the side and that goes into there and what that does it means that actual fact the stress is taken by the shell of the whole camera and the worst thing you're going to do is pull the cable out or break the plastic so I can't pull that cable out so let me just show you exactly what that means we're confident enough to do, do this with it 